<laughs> Greetings people, I come in peace. Now who in the world buys this? Fury has pulled out of the February the 17th undisputed fight with a cut. So with all the shenanigans last year, with Fury trying to avoid Usyk, with deadlines and purse splits, deliberately upsetting negotiations, moving goalposts, postponing December the 23rd because of a scratch, rescheduling to the 17th of February, Nothing being said about the fight until last week. Rumours he's getting manhandled in sparring. His dad saying his training camp is a joke. Many people, including myself, saying the fight won't happen. Sparring partners are being sent home at least a few days before the incident. Maybe to get them out of the way. Then lo and behold, he gets a convenient cut. To say it's convenient is a gigantic understatement. Fury has a habit of pulling out of fights. This has to have been manoeuvred in my opinion and it had to look convincing because there's so much anticipation and so much financial investment in the build up alone. Then the fight itself, the undercard, all the major networks were involved. What a mess. This guy is malignant, just a nightmare to deal with. Nothing is straightforward, transparent, elementary or simple. Why was his main sparring partner in London days ago then this happens? Why was Opataya sent home or went home after five rounds of sparring? Some people think it's ridiculous to think Fury would do it himself or get someone else to cut him or deliberately put himself in a position to be cut. Whatever it is, wake up. Fury is a con man, pure and simple, but please don't treat the fans as idiots. I did see this video. It's not a convincing video. Together with the picture that was posted by Tyson that he is in well, in good shape, very slim. People find uh, this picture to be made three years ago. You cannot trust the, these videos. And the video itself does not prove anything. The picture of the cut yeah, it, it shows us the fact, yeah, the cut is severe. But uh, getting punched in a gear uh, by an uppercut and get cut, no way. But there is an elbow. But how an elbow, how the hell an elbow can get inside after an uppercut? Like, what, what should be done? And then when he comes, he's, someone is screaming, Oh, no! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why would they scream? Did they see blood? Okay, if they saw the blood, why wouldn't the blood appear on his gloves when he was like wiping his eye? Too many questions. So this video is not convincing. There's so much questions. In the video, the elbow looked deliberate. How do you get cut with headgear on anyway? And then we hear that Fury doesn't usually spar with headgear, but this time he does and he gets cut. Why didn't he show the cut immediately after the elbow? Why is the footage so grainy? It's like the old footage you'd get in the late 90s, early 2000s. When we see sparring footage now, it's in full 4K HD. What's the odds you get cut wearing headgear? two weeks before a fight. If you're sparring at all, it would be very light sparring. This guy was going in. For a fight of this magnitude and money, the fighters are treated with kid gloves just so they don't get injured. Please. Two weeks to a mega fight? Why would the sparring partner throw s such a punch in a clinch? In such a way, his elbow follows through. Crazy. Who is the sparring partner? All the main ones went home. I tell you what, my heart goes out to Usyk. What does he do now? Does he wait for Fury? We know that will be a bad idea. <laughs> does he fight his mandatories? Well, 
that's what Fury wants him to do. He wants to age Usyk or wants someone else to beat him. So he doesn't have to fight him. Look, Fury needs to be stripped now. But we kind of know that the WBC don't work like that, do they? But that's the only way I can see to return order. If we don't, we will be in a maelstrom of confusion. This man is the Mr. Bean of boxing, a bodger. There's nothing but chaos, turmoil and pandemonium that surrounds him. Without the belts, nobody would care. He'd be consigned to obscurity. Oh dear. Usyk deserves to fight for Undisputed. I said months ago, Fury wasn't going to fight Usyk. And because he was backed in a corner, he had to go along with it to save face. He had no intentions of fighting Usyk. He's had enough time to train, but knows there's levels. No matter what condition he got himself into, he wouldn't be able to match Usyk. He knew Usyk has his number and he was about to be exposed. Just like Wilder. Don't be surprised if there is a Fury Wilder 4. Aegis Climus, Usyk's manager said, quote, Fury is a coward who would do anything not to face Usyk. Had he asked his <laughs> to hit him with a frying pan on his brow, end quote. I don't know about the frying pan, but it's not hard to make a cut in that area. The skin is very thin there, hence why it's prone to cuts. You just need to pinch the skin and nick it with something. And when you let it go, it looks like a bigger, nastier gash. I think it's probably sensible if we just forget about that fight. Yes, it was tantalizing, exciting to be able to see the matchup. People saying Fury's too big. People saying Usyk's too quick, too smart. We could have laid it all to rest on the result of the fight. But no. Fury will avoid Usyk and then he will have the audacity to call Usyk the coward and shout from the rooftops that he is the best ever. Can I just ask your thoughts first and foremost on the postponement of that fight? Well, I'm not surprised. Um, I've said it in uh, multiple interviews that I I really have a hard time seeing uh, Tyson Fury get in the ring with uh, Usyk. Usyk is those uh, honourable type of warrior and um you know uh he plays with inches so I what's think your that, thoughts on the footage um i mean i think the whole thing is a hoax i mean it's it is it's not you know he's been doing this for quite some time since he started um uh, you know it's really unfortunate that he was able to trick the people and trick the saudi people to you know waste their time and their money um it, it's very easy to see you know it's not it's not a it's not rocket science. Um, I don't believe it one bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's in his name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you if know. you know Tyson Fury and you know the Fury uh, family, then then you know that this is a um, this is a regular move. I mean, it's been doing been been done their whole career. Absolutely mind blowing. But if you forget about the fight, you don't have to be disappointed anymore. I personally always believe that Usyk would pummel Fury and that Fury was terrified to lose to him. And if anybody doubted that, please look again. Fury is a big girl's blouse. How dare he call himself the best ever? How dare anybody call him a champion? The people holding Fury up are responsible for bringing boxing into disrepute. He is a blemish, a blot, a stigma to boxing. Any Fury apologists at this point must have some sort of affiliation or be related to him. Watch for the boxing media companies who try to soften this up. Sycophants, they are the real enablers that made this monstrosity possible. Stroking his ego, kissing his rectum, putting him on a throne he doesn't deserve. Don't be so naive and gullible. Fury is a good boxer for his size. Simple. He is not a great boxer. He is not elite. And that's just in the ring. As a character, he is massively flawed. And many years ago, a character like that wouldn't be considered a champion.
no matter how well he fought. Hey, but everything's relative. We live in an upside down world. Anyway, I wasn't going to do anything about this because I've said enough in the past. But I just had to vent. It will be interesting to see the people squirm, lie, investigate. And to see how they fill this hole. Where does it go from here? What does Usyk do? He must be sick. Anyway, thanks for listening. Please subscribe. And remember, choose life.